Welcome to the Money Money Tip Podcast presented by Fully Funded Life. My name is Joe Green Leisure Suit Sample. This is the promised suit from Nike. Take a look at this. Look at this Nike logo. Do you see it? Oh, it's awesome. Right here. This right here is has been mentioned in previous podcast episodes. And this is how you win with money, y'all. Just don't spend money on clothes. Wear the same clothes for 30 years. Do you wear this out? Follow me for more incredible tips. Do you wear this out in public? That is the voice of my co-host, Megan Hibbard, who it seems like is judging me right <laughs> now. Do I wear I... it out in public? Yes, I wear this out in public. Now, more often than not, this material is actually rainproof, so my wife wears it like a the, lot. The she top likes the I jacket. got, yeah, the top shirt. No Plus, problem. she likes the pockets. Well, I would like the pockets, too. Isn't that awesome? So, anyhow, this is the Promise suit, and so I just wanted you to know that it exists, top and bottom. I don't know how much I spent back then, but I promise you, it's down to pennies per wearing. It's got its money's worth. Moment. It's got its money's worth. So, anyhow... Uh, we are excited that you've joined us on this Monday. If you're not watching on YouTube, you should really join on YouTube occasionally, uh, especially today to see the green, what is this, jumpsuit, ju jogging suit? Track suit. Track suit. It's made out of like parachute, parachute gear. You probably could parachute in it. I'm not going to try that, <laughs> but okay. But look, tell everybody what we're going to talk about today. We're actually, while this is not very serious... Uh, we're going to talk about a very serious topic. We That's are very important. talking about an important topic. So we are talking about exploring, exploring, eh, there's an E in there, exploring real estate investment strategies with the Burr technique now. The Burr technique. And Megan, <laughs> you may notice, has a, a cool voice today. It's kind of a husky voice. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was fine yesterday, and I woke up this morning, and this is what we got to work with welcome today. To, welcome to allergies in South Carolina. I'm like, this is it's summer. I don't understand. Yeah. Well, you know, this is one of the reasons why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt is because we're studying the burr technique today. Oh, I like how you made that connection. And so it's very important to, to help everybody who is interested in the idea of real estate. I will tell you, I, I meet a lot of people. Uh, and they, they are definitively on one of the two sides. There's not really on the fence. It's I'm absolutely never doing real estate mm -hmm. and others are like, Hey, I'm really interested in that. Yeah. Uh, I, tell me more. And there's a lot of people that are in the, I'm interested, but they've never taken action with it. Mm -hmm. And so if you're one of those people, you've always been interested in the idea of rental real estate. And you don't know quite how to get into it. This is a highly popular technique for doing so. It's called the Burr technique, not because it's cold and cold as ice, but because it's an acronym. Yeah, it stands with a B with four R's after it. So let's let's help some people with it today. Yep. The first one is B. What's that stand for? Yep. So the first B stands for buy. Yeah. I mean, it is important to buy real estate. If you're going to do if it. If you're going to do real estate, it's be helpful to be an owner. Step one. So check. give them some tips on that because they might be like, hey, like that's a, that's not very helpful. So Megan, help them. Yeah. So with this technique, I did, I did some research because I'm going to be honest. I didn't know a whole lot about this beforehand, but I do. Yeah. This is my idea. I wanted to talk about yes. this one today. So I made sure I did some research so I could understand it. But one of the big important things about this specific technique is you're buying properties that need work or that are stressed. So you're yes. not buying a property that you might move in tomorrow and be living in and it'd be great. Yeah. You're buying a property that needs work because you're able to get it at yeah. of a discounted price. That's right. But it also needs to be a sound investment. So you don't want to make a poor decision because it's super cheap. You want to make sure there's some wisdom going on there. That's right. You know, it's very important uh, to get a deal. I mean, this is true when you're at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's true with everywhere you go, you want a deal. And real estate, because it's dealing with thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars, you need to get a deal. And how do you get a deal? Well, it's being willing to do what others are unwilling to do. Right. So if you've got a property that smells like, you know, 51 cats lived in it and it peed all over it. They might have. Yeah, they may have. Or I bought one once that had a hole in the floor 
that had rotted out and the ceiling was caving in. Perfect. You know, it's stuff that makes the average person run away, but it's a sound investment. The numbers make sense. That's what you do. You buy it. But once you buy it, yes, you got to do the first R. What's that? Yep. So our first R is rehab. So you are taking the distressed property and you are turning it around so that you can yeah. use do something with it, which is your next one. We'll get there. Yeah. But with this, you're wanting to focus on home renovations that offer the highest return on investment. So name some of those. Kitchen. Kitchen. Bathrooms. Bathroom. You know, things like that. Master that, bedroom. That people automatically look at and they say, I can live in that or I can't live in that. You know, oh, yeah. if a kitchen is terrible shape, I'm automatically out. It's out. Yeah. It's out. So that rehab is really important. So you're you're spending dollars. You're spending your money and sweat equity to yeah. upfit the house, to rehab it. Yeah. So that it is some it creates that that wow factor that hey I can see myself living here factor because you want people saying that because your second R is mm -hmm. where money starts flowing the right direction towards yeah. you that's when you are yeah well I think too an important you, to say you are setting me up but I think with the rehab before we get to the R it's important like when you're thinking even when you're in the buying stage if you're thinking through this whole process and you are you handy or are you not handy like can you do the work can you not are you having yeah. to hire it out if you are hiring it out like that goes yeah. into the should it be a sound investment in the real in the and the rehab process absolutely a ton of people yeah who start the burr technique do a lot of the work themselves right and then i think a lot of you a lot of you might be thinking like this just sounds like you're house flipping but this next R is where it kind of gets a little bit different. It's so different. instead of selling the house and profiting the money yeah. in this part. Selling does not start with an R. It does not. So it would not work. For so that. what are you, what are you doing? What are you are, you rent. Yes. So you're you wanting to get it. a renter you as soon as possible. get a renter as soon as possible. Do you like it? <laughs> I, I rolled the R's good. And rent, rent it. it. Are you managing the rental? Are you hiring a uh, a management company that matters a lot because a lot of people are saying, Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. It's a lot. I can be when they're so there's property management companies yeah. that will do that for mm -hmm. you. And those property management companies are really, really, really good. Uh, most of them, the ones, the ones that have been around 15 years or longer are really, really good. They know what they're doing. They will keep it occupied. They when it when it when a property vacates, they will get it rehabbed again. You know, you're gonna rent it. Mm -hmm. That that's the big key is to get the dollars flowing back towards you. And so a lot of people, you know, for that first hour, that rehab, they really want to compress the time it takes to do that mm -hmm. because time is money. Right. And if you can get it done in sixty days, that's way better than ninety days. If you can get it turned in thirty days, mm -hmm really good yeah. so you you burr we have right now we're burr we've bought it we've rehabbed it we've rented it this is a very critical point of the of the burr technique and what is that yep so you're going to refinance it so you're going to build up equity in the home and then you're going to do a cash out refinancing yes so. so this is really important and let me tell you this technique was wildly popular pre 2022 mm. because rates were so low. Right. And so you could refinance it at really, really low rates. And how did they build up all that equity in the home? Well, it's with all the upfits they did in the home. Mm. And a lot of times with sweat equity and because they went and they, they got things done and they bought a really distressed property at a great price. They get a new appraisal and it says it's worth this now. Mm -hmm. And they can go do a cash out refi. And many times, many times, people who were doing this would actually end up with zero dollars in the deal. Mm -hmm. And that's where you introduce a concept called infinite rates of return. Because a lot of times you're saying, what did I, what did I put into the house? And what am I getting out of the house? Yeah. And you take that and you divide what did I put in the house into what I'm getting out of it. And that's your rate of return. Hmm. I put in $30,000 of my money. I'm getting $6,000, right? Mm -hmm. 6,000 divided by 30. Okay. I'm getting 20% rate of return. Ding, 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 ding. Well, when the number is zero and you're dividing into it, that's infinity. Hmm. And so I, I know people who bought a house for a hundred thousand dollars. No joke. They bought the house for a hundred thousand dollars. 
They put like $30,000 into it and a bunch of sweat equity. They put, they put $20,000 in, went into the deal when they started, put another $10,000 into the deal. They had $30,000 into the deal of, of their own money. They borrowed money, the rest of the money to get the house. They refinanced the house and it's now worth $200,000. Hmm. And they pull out 80% of the equity. They actually took money away from the deal and got the rates locked in on long-term loans. Uh, and they have negative money in the deal. And a lot of people did it. So this refinancing part is a critical component. The government doesn't really like that happening fast. So the refi stuff, uh, they started putting the brakes on it and saying, hey, you have to have owned the home at least six months before you can refinance it. Mm -hmm. And some of them started extending it to 12 months or even out to 18 months. So it's really important. So to understand that, and of course, with higher interest rates, you've got to have a greater, a greater rate of return on that property. And it's hard to find deals. Right. A lot of people who were doing this technique have had to shift, but it is a viable technique. So you buy it, you rehab it, you rent it, you refinance it. What's the final R? All right. Final R is repeat. Repeat. Find another property and do it again. So you got to invest in a new property. You got to get that next one. And so a great resource for this is the Bigger Pockets podcast. It's the number one real estate podcast in the world. Make sure you listen to it. They look, they interview real life practitioners. My personal preference is any of the episodes prior to 2020. Uh, Rick Jarman was a great guy, real estate old school, unfortunately passed away due to COVID. Um, a great teacher, great educator of helping people get started in real estate. Grant Cardone, who started out and now has built himself a multi-billion dollar portfolio, but he's got great lessons to teach people as they get started. So it's getting cold in here. Burr. Burr technique. So in the next episode, I'm gonna be warmed back up and the long sleeve green jumpsuits gonna be gone. Hey, we'd love to hear your comments. Have you ever done the Burr technique? Do you like it? What do you not like about it? What's your experience with it? And hey, if you've never heard about it, hey, tell us how it helped you. We'll see you next Monday with another Right Now Relevant podcast to help you progress towards your fully funded life. Hey everybody, Joe Sangle here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hey, I encourage you to click the links that are provided to watch a lot of more helpful content that'll help you live your fully funded life. Thanks for being a part of our community.